Perhaps your child is at risk of getting involved in the adult criminal justice system. Or worse, your child may already be in an adult jail or prison. In either case, you need to know some facts. Laws vary from state to state. 23 states have no minimum age for trying youth as adults. In all other states, the minimum age is anywhere from 10 to 15 years old. In more than a dozen states, youth are automatically tried as adults at ages 16 or 17 for any offense. In transferring him at uh, 16 into the adult system, we lost out on a lot of services and, and resources that we needed so desperately. Uh, he was then thrust into the adult system where he just didn't belong and didn't fit in and he was traumatized by the by being in, in the midst of people who were adults and did have uh, harsher uh, crimes that they committed. It was very harmful to him mentally and physically. Youth tried as adults can be sentenced to an adult prison far from their families. We were used to seeing him on a regular basis, but when he just got sent 1,500 miles away, it really was a blow to myself and my family because we lost that contact. The most we could do was make a phone call at least once a week, and a lot of times we did get voicemail, and we, didn't, we wouldn't get a call back till like a week later. My little cousin was tried as an adult when he was 13, and he's still locked up now. He has 35 years. So really, what being tried as an adult does is, one, it sends you to prison, Two, it kills your options. It's almost like rolling a dice, except you're guaranteed to lose. Everybody makes mistakes in their life, and I think everyone's bound to make a mistake in their life because no one's perfect. At the age of 16, I was arrested for a murder and attempted murder that I did not commit. I was locked up in California for 10 and a half years. When you try youth as an adult, you're literally ruining their life. You're, you're, you're not giving them an opportunity to to rehabilitate. Youth charged with almost any offense, even a minor one, may be detained in an adult jail. My daughter has never uh, been in the juvenile system. She's never really been in any serious trouble. To have her in the system at all is new, and for her to go directly to the adult system was quite a shock. She was in a school fight. Um, it was a hair pulling, scratching, two girls kind of fighting in high school fight. Um, and no weapons. The other girl was 16 and my daughter was 17. So that uh, made it child abuse according to the police. And um, they jailed her on a felony charge. It, by the time it got to the DA's office, it was uh, criminal disorderly conduct. You heard that right. A school fight. How many kids do you know who have been in a school fight? Yet if they live in a state where the law automatically allows 16 or 17 year old kids to be defined as adults, these youth can be tried and sentenced as adults no matter how minor the offense. It was a month after my, uh, a month after my 15th birthday. So I had no idea I could be tried as an adult. Didn't know what being tried as an adult meant even after I got locked up and they told me that I would be tried as an adult up until the day that I got sentenced. My concept of that wasn't the reality of what it was. Because the truth is that the lawyers and the judges and the counselors had every scenario in the world where you won't go to prison, except you always go to prison. Are we so wealthy that we can afford to throw away these, this many young people? The consequences of an adult conviction are serious, long-term, and life-threatening, not minor. Did you know that if your child is convicted as an adult, they can be denied educational, employment, and housing opportunities? They may be denied the right to vote, and their public records can be accessed without restriction. An adult conviction limits future opportunities, which can hinder them for the rest of their life. He has grown now. He's, he has grown from a kid almost to an adult. And that has really hurt me as a mother because I missed out on so much. And I actually do feel like that I have lost a connection with him. Talking to him on the phone and sending him letters is just not the same as seeing your child for a two year period go through changes, go from a boy to almost a man. And not alone, the fact that he's in a, in a prison. If you think if your child gets in trouble, you have some control of what's happening to him, you don't. 
and if you want to keep your kids or your nieces or nephews or your family's kids or your grandchildren safe, you need to become educated about the way the United States is really treating America's kids and you need to fight it so we're treating them the way that they should be treated, the way that we started treating them back in the late 1800s and for some reason that just went away. Well, what's going to happen to you when they come back out? What type of child are they going to be? What type of adult are they going to be if you force them to live in the violence with no services whatsoever? How safe are you going to be then? The biggest problem is that it puts a felony conviction on their record. And prospective employers uh, in the future are able to, to find out about those felony convictions. And it's going to prevent them from getting any kind of gainful employment. And so prosecuting kids as adults and giving them adult felony records really puts them on a path of continued illegal activity throughout their lives. You know, at 17 you did something dumb, it doesn't matter. You cannot move on with your life and you are not allowed to. It's a stigma, really. It's, a, it's the scarlet letter now. You mess up once, we're going to nail you and we're going to nail you for the rest of your life. Now that Zach's home, the hardest thing to deal with is the felony label. There's a lot of people that see the felony and don't want to hear the story, don't want to offer a chance um, to look at the whole picture and him as a person. They just see felony and don't want to hire him or he's been looking for a place to live and a lot of people won't even rent to him because of his felony. So it's been a big barrier for him to get over that stigma of being a felon. I see myself as a hard worker. I just, I just wish that some people would give me more opportunities so that I could prove myself. 